Analyst Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Allie, take it away. Hey, BA, Carl Anthony Towns is in a new phase. He said, I've had the time to mess up and chase stats. That's over. I've proved myself in this league. But can I win? That is the next step. I have to do whatever it takes. There's only one way to change the narrative. That's to go beat the narrative. Guys? Good stuff, Allie. Thanks for that. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Danilo Gallinari. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Now Atlanta's starting five. Collins at the four with Capella at center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three. And for the Timberwolves. We've got Jalen Noel, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Anthony Edwards. Then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Towns in at center. And these teams both extremely talented up front. Brent, in your estimation, have the days of the bruising, paint-oriented front court come and gone? Yeah, I think so, B.A. I think we're looking at the game the way that it should be played. It's a game of movement. It's a game of pace. It's a game of spacing. And right now, you're looking for guys who have versatility I don't know when we're going to go back to that rock 'em sock 'em post up style play. Now here's Young, a great score, averaging almost 26 a game. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Beverly, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Young against Russell. And Young gets it to go. Well, this guy keeps learning from each and every coverage on the pick and roll. Play Young getting some serious chops playing out of that set. Now here's Towns. Against Brooklyn, he was really on his game. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That'll be a second foul of the game. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Malik Beasley. Back to Capella. Outside Young. Fires the three. Edwards pulls it in. Beverly outside. Pass to Towns. Stolen by Capella. Hunter against Edwards. And here's Bogdanovich. Here's Young. Shoots over Beverly. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. 
Minnesota with the ball. Let's just remember this about Trey Young. In the 1920 season, he became only the fifth player in NBA history to average more than 29 points and nine assists. Here's Towns. And it's powered home by Towns. It just crashes the glass with effort and intensity. I mean, how do you box a guy out like Towns? Hunter, a screen on Beasley. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Second shot opportunity, and Capella gets it to go. Well, Capella, if we watched him again there, he would be reading where that ball is going, and he positions himself before the ball even comes off. Now here's Beasley, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Six to shoot, out to the right wing. And that's going to be a travel hole. And check out the NBA's top three-point shooters over the course of the past month. Fifth, Carl Anthony Towns. Sometimes you get into a rhythm from long range, and you can ride that stretch for a while. And when Young joined the 29.9 assist club, his company was pretty exclusive. Brent, the great Oscar Robertson, he did it a bunch of times. And, of course, you know the three others. Well, I think James Harden, Russell Westbrook, of course, and then look it up, kids, Tiny Archibald. So all, all Hall of Famers, in my opinion, those three names we just mentioned, and the fact that Trey did it in his second season, you got to be kidding me. Hunter with the ball, now guarded by Beverly. Beasley against Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. Beverly with a steal. Young against Edwards. Here's Vanderbilt to the paint. And Edwards the bucket on the assist by Beasley. Well, we'll find from the off guard Beasley there. We'd like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. Pass to Young. Back to Bogdanovich. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Outside Edwards. Now Towns. Here's Vanderbilt. Outside Edwards. Five to shoot. Driving to the basket. Can't hit. One for two now. For Atlanta, they've gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. It's hauled in by Beverly. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Towns. Inside. And he dunks it down. This is who Towns is. An unselfish, versatile big man with great court awareness. And the loudest section gets free t-shirts.
The Hawks trailing. Young, the pass to Hunter. Down low. Here's Bogdanovich. Good on the bucket. Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. We know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Now here's Beverly. Last game for him, he had 14. Towns down low. Guarded by Capella. Hey, rejected by Capella. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Pass to Vanderbilt. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And Grant, as you watch the league since you retired, what do you think is the biggest change? Well, you started to see the three-point boom change towards the end of my career. And of course, also, how centers are used is probably the biggest change of them all. And he drops the first. Some changes for Minnesota. Reeds checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Okogie is subbed in for Edwards. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Akongwu checks in for John Collins. Gallinari comes in for Hunter. Herders checked in for Bogdanovich. And Wright subbed in for Trey Young. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Hawks have gone three of nine, struggling so far. Right against Beverly. Outside Gallinari. And he drives in. Vanderbilt with the block. And there's the lob. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. Right against Beverly. Now here's Wright, averaging around five points a game. Kept alive. Vanderbilt with the block. Pass to Beasley. Over Herter. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got his fifth rebound in this one. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Right, pass to Gallinari. Capella, screen on Reed. It's Gallinari with a drive. Oh, and Reed with a block. Capella against Beasley. And the foul called on Danilo Gallinari. That's his first foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. McDaniels is checked in for Vanderbilt. Williams is checked in for the Hawks. to a Kogi. Now here's Beasley. Yep, that one's good. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Williams. Oh, and Reed with a block. And they get it back. Here's Minnesota. They're on a 14-4 run. Beasley goes back up, and he sinks the layup. Beasley's got his second bucket of the night. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Timberwolves? Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. A Kogi on the wing. And the foul called on Danilo Gallinari. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Prince has checked in. Now here's Reed. His last outing, we saw him score 13. Beverly outside. 
Clock at six. Pass to Beasley. Over Williams. That went off the back iron and out. Atlanta's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's a Kung Wu. And here's Herter. Picked up by a Kung Wu. Two minutes for the first. Two minutes. And a nice finish on the layup. You got to keep the ball moving, and that time Herter's pass leads to an open look. Beverly against right. Beverly, the pass to Reed. Pass to Beasley. That's tipped. Right with the board. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Now here's Gallinari. We've got 113 left in the opening quarter. Oh, that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Anthony Edwards. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. Now here's Beverly. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Back to Reed. 51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Prince. He's off on that one. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Now here's Gallinari. Pass to Herter. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. And the Hawks making a change here. And the Timberwolves with possession. They're on a 16-6 run. Here's Edwards. Last game, he had 28 points. This kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves ending the quarter up 10, just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. that changes here in the second and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves well you have to look at the advantage they have in the turnover department I mean that's a huge advantage for them in this game yeah hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable just crippling defense and so it's Minnesota with it 10 point lead. This is their biggest of the game. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Brooklyn. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. Yeah, I saw the box score of that game the next day and I thought, wow, that's a huge scoring night. Pretty impressive stuff there. McDaniels at power forward with Towns at center. The backcourt is Russell and Edwards. And it's Okogi in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. You know, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. And you love Bogdanovich and just the versatility he brings B.A. Out to the wing. Young against Russell. Shot clock at six. Edwards against Bogdanovich. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. 
And as for Bogdanovich's ability to play anywhere on the floor, Brent, that's something that adds a lot of value to a player in today's NBA. Think about second side actions in the NBA where the ball swings away from a primary scorer. Can the next guy do something with the ball? Bogdanovich certainly can. He can shoot it. He can put it down and make decisions. That kind of versatility pays off. Now here's Bogdanovich. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Pass to Capella. Hunter with the ball. From deep. Okogi pulls down the board. Here's Russell. Now Edwards. Towns is screen on Bogdanovich. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Left side Young. Outside Bogdanovich. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Collins outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. Collins a screen. Fires it. Bogdanovich, that's good. Bogdanovich has gotten his second bucket on the night. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Oh, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Towns finds Russell, shoots from 12. Hunter with the rebound. The Hawks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Edwards against Bogdanovich. Screen by Capella. Here's Young. Second chance effort. Capella can't get it to go. Not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Outside Russell, there's the three, and they recover it. Pass to McDaniels. To the inside, here's Edwards. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Edwards has got six. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And the Hawks shooting only 25% from the floor. Not great. Young with it. And here's Collins. A screen by Capella. Hunter against Towns. The three is up. Kept alive by Atlanta. Here's Capella. Blocked! Out of bounds. Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated.
changes here for the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt comes in for McDaniels. And Beasley has subbed in for Anthony Edwards. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Gallinari's checked in. Bogdanovich up top. Six on the shot clock. Over Towns. Oh, and Towns with the block. I mean, if height wasn't enough, Towns also has serious athleticism. There's just no easy shots when he's around. And here's Hunter from the arc. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Here's Russell. Count it. Two for four from the field now. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Galadari with a screen on Russell. Young from long range. Minnesota with a rebound. Towns has got six rebounds here tonight. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Here's Russell. And that one comes up a bit short. Atlanta's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Back to Bogdanovich. Capella screen on Beasley. Bogdanovich up top. He's guarded by Beasley. Bogdanovich no good. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Beasley, the pass to Russell. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That's his first foul. Reed checked in for the Timberwolves. Prince comes in for Okogi. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Akangwu checks in for Capella. Herder comes in for Hunter. Williams is checked in for Bogdanovich. And Wright subbed in for Trey Young. Here's Vanderbilt. Six points for him. Reed sets a screen. Here's Beasley. Rejected by Akongwu. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And the foul called on the Atlanta Hawks. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. And I did a pretty good job. And he's good on the second. Well, Brent, there are over 50 NBA players from the continent of Africa or with family ties there. And the NBA is investing in Africa's infrastructure for basketball. Well, they're building courts there. The league is going to grow there. And I think within five years, B.A., we're going to have an influx of talent and the player who's going to come in to the NBA and make a huge impact. And Minnesota has possession following the score by Atlanta. Reed can't hit. Russell against Wright. Outside, Williams. Picked up by a Kongwu. And he lobs it up. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Williams against Beasley. Russell to pass to Reed. Back to Russell. The shot no good. And right with the defensive effort. Outside Herder. Picked up by a Kongwu. Herder into the lane. Back to right. Three on the clock. Oh, and Reed with a block. They recover it. 
Herter can't hit. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's Prince. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Well, he's getting bodied up, but Torian Prince has a pretty decent body himself, so not minding it one bit. And now right. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. Two minutes remaining. Picked up by a Kongwu. Two minutes. Stolen by Reed. Here's Prince. Herder defending. Prince down low. Herder defending. Pass to Russell. Clock at six. Rejected by a Kongwu. Stolen by Reed. Here's Prince. Herder defending. Now here's Russell. Over right. The shot by Russell. No good. Outside Herder. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Oh, and Reed with a block. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Russell. From downtown. No good on the shot. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And that game, I love their mentality. They were focused on getting to the free throw line a lot and shooting a great percentage from there. Oh, they did. You can get to the line all you want, but it doesn't really mean much if you can't hit your free throws. And they were rock solid at the stripe. Now here's Russell. Reed to screen on right. Russell to pass to Reed. Drills it from deep. Reed's got four points this quarter. And they're winning and playing with great confidence, but they need to be more efficient with those three-pointers. Williams against Beasley. Outside Herder. Picked up by a Kongwu. Just five to shoot. Oh, they need this! Again with the block! A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And for that matchup with the Jazz, they'll be enjoying a little bit of an advantage, but you can't use that as an excuse to be lazy or complacent. That's how you find yourself down 20 and in a hole that you can't dig yourself out of. And time now to acknowledge what was a tremendous half of play for the Timberwolves. Well, they built this lead in large part because of the sharpshooters off the bench. The subs played a superb game. Get it? Sub? Superb? Oh, I'm rolling tonight. I mean, they play like starters. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. Ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the court for the Hawks. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. At the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Edwards. Pass to Noel. Clock at four. Now Reed releases. Off the left rim and out. 
Brent, no matter what happens in DeAndre Hunter's pro career, in college, he created a signature moment for himself in the closing moments of the 2019 National Championship game. Remember, he hit a game-tying three to send it to overtime. And, and then the Cavs eventually were able to pull that game out and win the title. It was just a heroic end to his season. He's about defense, and that's the area of the court right now where he's making the most impact in his NBA career. The first free throw is good. You've got to applaud Trey Young's hustle out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he maintains a high energy level all game long. Vanderbilt's checked in for Reed. And both free throws good for Young. One place you really see Trey Young's work ethic shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist numbers. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. And he's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. Now here's Towns. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific, scoring just around 20 points a game. Noel, no good. They still have time to make this a game, but they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Collins passes to Bogdanovich. And a miss there on the triple. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. Nails it from beyond the arc. But D'Lo at that size has great court vision and a great pass. Young with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Capella with it. Covered by Towns. Capella inside. Towns on him. Oh, it's blocked by Towns! And they're able to recover. Well, his shots aren't dropping. They haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Yep, that one goes. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Man, that one's good. Young. And Trey Young will bury threes in bunches. So effortless. Now here's Russell. He has a clear impact on this offense, putting up over 19 a game. And he gets it back. Towns a screen on Bogdanovich. Another shot. Misses off the right iron. The Hawks have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Oh, there's the alley! Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Here's Noel, guarded by Young. Outside Edwards. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. And Anthony Edwards, he had his ups and downs as a rookie. The talent is abundant, though. Yeah, I mean, he just needs to learn his spots on the floor. Find where he's most effective attacking. And once he gets all that sorted, he'll be a more consistent player. First one falls. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. McDaniels is checked in for Vanderbilt. And it's Beverly in for Russell. And both free throws good for Edwards. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Bogdanovich with a screen on Beverly. Beverly against Young. Shot clock at five. Collins a screen. Here's Bogdanovich. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Beverly against Young. post Towns. Towns
Jones on a screen. Here's McDaniels. And Collins with the big block. No, oh, sir. Collins sending that one away. Pass to Bogdanovich. Capella with it. Capella, screen on Edwards. Outside Bogdanovich. He buries it from three. Bogdanovich has got seven points. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Beverly with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Got a hand on it. Now you don't see a lot of shot blocks from Bogdanovich, but he is big enough to get it done. And here's Hunter for three. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Tries to spin move. Beverly against Young. Beverly outside. Takes it inside. Capella with a block. Well, that's just great timing. Interfering with those long limbs. Capella with another shot block. Here's Bogdanovich. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Hunter on the wing. Collins outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. They get the rebound. Capella. Count the basket. Capella's got his second basket of the night. And Capella just smashing through the contact on the inside that time. Here's Noel. Towns is screen on Bogdanovich. Here's Noel. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Capella. Second team foul. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Minnesota. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reed comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Okogie is subbed in for Edwards. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Akongwu checks in for Clint Capella. Herder comes in for Hunter. Williams is checked in for Bogdanovich. And Wright subbed in for Trey Young. And so he hits both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Right, the pass to Williams. Driving inside. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Noel. He's got five. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his second person. Okay, it's time for the 2K leaderboard. The top teams in blocks during the last month of play. The fourth spot held by the Timberwolves. These guys have been so impressive down low on the defensive end. Denying shots left and right over the past month. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Williams. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Right with the ball. Yep, that one goes. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a 
quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. High post read. Back to Beverly. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Hey, Beverly's got his first two points of the night. The stretch strength from Patrick Beverly is impressive. Takes the punishment. I don't think he minds it one bit and still converts. Timberwolves foul. Jaden McDaniel. Beasley's checked in for the Timberwolves. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for your Timberwolves. Malik Beasley. On defense, the Timberwolves. Right outside. Pass to Okongwu. Stolen by Reed. And now the T-Wolves on the break. Here's Okogi. Three-pointer, no good. Atlanta's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Right against Beverly. Outside, Williams. Once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Minnesota has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Beasley. Beverly for three. And right with the defensive effort. Well, the Hawks shooting about 31% here in quarter number three. To the paint. Here's Gallinari. And here is Williams. And the three-pointer goes. Williams. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, the Timberwolves shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Beverly, the pass to Reed. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Okogi. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Gallinari pulls it in. And for Atlanta, they're shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. A minute 39 left in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Pass to Williams. Oh, and Reed with a block. Here's Okogi. Reed to screen on Gallinari. Okogi into the lane. Some solid defense from Williams. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. Now here's Wright. Pass to Herter. Picked up by Okongwu. Herter with it. Beasley covers. And here's Wright from the arc. Minnesota with a rebound. Reed's got a seventh rebound here tonight. It's McDaniels on the wing. Now here's Beasley. Not a lot of room. Over Gallinari. 11 feet out and he hits it. Beasley's got six. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Williams a screen on Beverly. Pass to Okongwu. Beasley against Williams. Shoots over Beasley. That's short off the rim. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Reed to screen on Williams. Rejected by Okongwu. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Timberwolves ahead, up by 16. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. Ooh, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. And sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. 
In the backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Torian Prince is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. And it's Towns in at the five. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Young against Russell. Pass to Herder. Four on the clock. Shot from 12. Well, the key there is Torian Prince staying with his man, the versatility to guard positions, because he can guard a multitude of them. Outside Russell. Back to Prince. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Herter. Herter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Okongwu. Now Young. Outside Herter. And he lobs it up top! And then it's Collins with the dunk. Collins working well off the ball and cutting to the hoop. Here's Prince. Here's Towns. Rejected by a Kongwu. Outside Hunter. Releases. Rebound Minnesota. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Pass to Russell. Driving in. Here's Prince. It's Edwards on the wing. Tries again. Vanderbilt, no good. The Hawks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's a Kung Wu. Outside Young. Back to a Kong Wu. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Back to Vanderbilt. Puts it up from 15. Another miss by Minnesota. The Hawks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Now here's Young. He's covered closely. Here he goes. Vanderbilt with the block. Outside Russell. Pass to Prince. To win the drought. And Towns with the lay-in. And the Timberwolves lead by 14. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Russell against Young. Not going to go that time. Good work defensively by Russell. Towns against Young. Pass to Prince. They swipe it. Edwards against Hunter. Now here's Young. Shot clock at six. On the take. Oh, it's blocked by Towns. Here's Edwards. That one no good. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Collins a screen. Here's Young. To the wing, right side. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Down low. Here's Towns. Rejected by a Kongwu. 
Young with it, working on Vanderbilt. Herter with it, Towns covering. Collins, left side, pass to Young. And here's Herter, down to five on the shot clock. Going inside, the rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns is... Russell up top, here's Prince. Here's Towns, guarded by Young. Back to Prince. That one's good, and it's Towns with the assist. Well, a good shooter and has some range. Torian Prince welcoming all catch and shoot opportunities. player of the game. And tonight he served as the anchor on the defensive end. The opposition didn't get the memo about his defensive skills clearly <laughs> and he made them pay for it. He was just blocking shots away left and right out there. Boy this was totally out of the blue. He hadn't made any sort of impact lately and then tonight he's the best player on the floor. Man what a turnaround. Collins. Beverly against Bogdanovich. Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Hunter. Capella screen on Edwards. Clock at six. 
Hunter passes to Collins. The Hawks need to get one up here. Bogdanovich from long range. I think Patrick Beverly loves the challenge every night to shut down his man. Takes great pride on the defensive end. Pass to Russell. Out to Beverly. Over Bogdanovich. <laughs> Beverly shot off. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Hunter passes to Young. Now here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. Collins, left side. Shot to win the cold streak. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got four assists in the game. John Collins continuing to show that he's willing to work on that three-point range. Russell to pass to Towns. Here's Vanderbilt. Collins defending. High post Towns. Young's there. Here's Edwards. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Bogdanovich against Beverly. And there's a pick. Pass to Young. Looking to end this cold spell. And he lays it up and in. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. it over to Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team, and he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. Thank you for that, Allie. Minnesota's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Russell into the lane. Over Young. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Boy, this Hawks squad is struggling. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Towns with a rebound. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Pass to Hunter. And the whistle blows. Anthony it's going to be Edwards. on Anthony Edwards. That's, That's foul number five. two for him. 13. Yeah. He tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Russell against Young. Two minutes remaining. Russell affected that Two shot. Minutes. Used his length and some effort on defense that time. Outside Edwards. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Outside for Russell. Six to shoot. 
Towns to screen on Young. Russell to pass to Edwards. No good with the triple. The Hawks shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. Bogdanovich against Beverly. Collins outside. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Outside Edwards. And Brent, you were a dunk contest champion in 1996. So when you think of the all-time great dunkers, who's the first person that comes to mind? I have to go with Vince Carter, probably during my time, the most explosive and exciting slam dunk artist in game uh, that I've ever seen. But if you go through history, we know the likes of Dominique Wilkins and Dr. J. There's been many high flyers, many skywalkers, and we appreciate all of them. Every single inch of his range on that one. Russell finds Edwards. Back to Russell. Towns a screen on Young. Russell from outside. Rebounded by the Hawks. At this point, it just feels like it's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Collins with a screen on Russell. Here's Young. That one rolls around and rims out. And here's Russell. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. We'll see you again at the next event. All right, I'm with Carl Anthony Downs. Carl, congratulations on the victory. What was key in getting the win here tonight? Uh, I mean, we just played like we wanted it more. You know, we came out here and we just did a lot of great defensive stops. It wasn't offensive, it was more defensive. We did a great job. We got the 50-50 balls, uh, put us in a nice position. We can see and feel that desperation. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.